I'm working on a John Deere GT225. The uh, transmission oil change, and I looked around a lot of videos and I wasn't finding anything. Uh, it's the K71B transmission, and it's very simple. There's not a lot to it, but I figured I'd show you guys what to do. Here's the beast right here. Of course, the top part of the hood shattered previously before I bought it. But if you come around to the back, way down here, I'm gonna show you how you can find the transaxle type. Let's see, maybe, oh, I don't need the flashlight, I guess. So anyway, way in there, It'll tell you. I don't know if you can see that. I can turn it and get in. At the top there, it says K71B. So you get under here and you can see, got a lot of, a lot of dust, dirt, a lot of grime. This is the reservoir for the system, for the transmission. And, and then there's also this down here, this yellow cap. So there's two spots to fill. So just wipe those off pretty decently. This, this reservoir here, you access up right here underneath the seat. And that is how to get to that. So I always just jack it up with a floor jack right underneath this guy right here. Uh, that's a big solid piece of metal here. You can get it under there. And then I got my jack stands in place. The one on the right was easy enough to get right underneath the axle. The one on the left, I decided to get just under, under this piece. It's not really centered, but it's strong enough. I shook it a little bit, so we're good to go there. Now we're gonna go underneath and look for 14 millimeter bolts. Undo both of these caps. Get that out. Oh, it's all coming out. I think that's what they say is that if you don't take the reservoir one off and you take that other one off first, it starts leaking, so. Yeah, it's going down there. Let's see here. Well, it's at least draining into my pan there. So that's good. little sponge in here. Hard to see in there. There's a little bit of oil at least. That's good. I know that this is low and that's part of the reason I'm changing it. So just underneath, you can see Right here, there's a 14 millimeter bolt. out all the way. There we go. That was weird. That was like something just fell. But I'm holding the bolt. It's taken quite a while for that to drain out. 
In the meantime, let me show you the other bolt that we're going to grab is just that guy right there. So once this one finishes, I'll slide the oil pan, the oil collection pan there under further to get that one. And now to get the other one. And as you guys can see, I still have the deck. Well, maybe you can't see it, but the deck is still on there. I haven't taken anything off, so it's a little it's a little bit of a pain to reach under here, but it's not too bad. And there goes the rest. So this takes 4.6 liters. Um, of course, John Deere is going to recommend their oil. Um, Tough Torque recommends 5, 5W15, full synthetic. And I've heard lots of people say 10W30. 10W30 used to be the recommended. Um, so I'm not even going to tell you what I'm putting in here. How about that? And then we won't have a big discussion on what's necessary. So here's the setup I'm using. I've got one of those real flexible little guys with a bigger one. You just kind of got to go slow. Um, I don't have enough hands, but trust me, just go a little bit slow. I already dumped a little bit out because I went too fast. And yeah, when you go more than like maybe two and a half liters in that, <laughs> in this one, it'll start overfilling. So maybe stop at two or two and a half. I think I'm going to fill the rest in through the reservoir. So while I'm cleaning up all the nasty underneath, I got started up here. Um, so I just need another two and a half or three liters. And in case anyone's wondering, I don't know liters. I'm just using that because that's what it says. Um, my five quart container is 4.73 liters. So basically it's about five quarts. And once you're basically full, which I am pretty close here, you can Kind of hearing it gurgle and you can see it bubbling a little bit. Um, since it's jacked up, I've just been grabbing the wheels every now and then, kind of turning them back and forth. I don't know if that's helping yet. What I'm going to do though is hop on and actually go forward in reverse. And that's supposed to bleed any of the air out of the system. So I ran it forwards and reverse with it up on the jack stands and it really didn't make any difference for how much fluid I already had in it. So um, I didn't get the full amount of fluid. It was like, what, 4.6, 4.7 liters it was supposed to be in there, but I probably got close to four. So um, I'm going to keep checking the fluid levels after the next few mows and I will add fluid as necessary, but I drove it around a little bit and check the fluid again and it was still right at the top in the reservoir so there's plenty of fluid in there it's not making any weird sounds um, so hopefully this will get you going thanks a lot bye bye